Lefty, lefty, nice ground ball back in the middle. Hunt gets the out at second. Kennedy over to first, and a 1-6-3 double play gets Taylor out of the inning. Glad grooves one to deep left field, going towards the scoreboard, running after it is Sewell. It's off the scoreboard, and Glad blasts one opposite way. Hunt faced the minimum in the top of the first, thanks to the 1-6-3 double play, and here he retires the side in order, thanks to back-to-back -back strikeouts here to finish off the top of the second for the Trojans here in his third season in Upland. And uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good night to Seegers. 2-0 the Trojan lead on a cloudy and warm Wednesday afternoon. Frickle, a high, deep skyscraper to center field, and the outfielders run out of room. It's a grand slam for Brennan Frickle, and the Trojans take a 6-0 lead on a monstrous swing from 16 in purple. A ball to Ben Kennedy, who's 0 for 1 this afternoon. Hits one hard towards right field. Playing in was Guire. That's a mistake. It's going to sail over his head, get to the fence, and Kennedy races to second. He is at top speed and trying to find a leadoff triple. The relay throw is going to be eaten, and it's a leadoff three-bagger for the shortstop, Ben Kennedy, out to right. That is all the information we have on 36 in black. Face off with Caleb Colpin, who sends one screaming to deep left field. Sewell going back. He looks up, and it's caught on the fly by a student beyond the left field fence on the home run for Caleb Colpin. His 199th career hit caught by a student, and the third homer of the day for the Trojans makes it 12-1 home team. For Kennedy in the ninth spot, most likely will come in to play short. This one up the wide open space in the right field corner playing way over is Geyer. Remick should get a two-bagger out of this one, and he does. One run comes in as Frickle scores from Semic. From second, Remick comes in. RBI double for him. Two of the six leadoff men have gotten on today for the Crimson Pride. They will not get number three here as Frady deals in a breaking ball and gets a swing and a miss for strike three. Winter Holder Field eerily quiet. Runner goes up the middle, bounces right to Remick, steps at second, throws to first, and that's a beautiful 4-3 or 6-3 game-ending double play.